Good morning guys, welcome to, oh my god, the first Sydney vlog, the first Australia vlog, the first week of our life here in Australia. We are spending it in Sydney, that is where we flew into and we are actually doing a tour with Welcome to Travel for our first week here. So if you watched my vlogs when I came to Australia back in 2020, you might recognise the name. Basically Welcome to Travel are specifically focused on like setting up your life here in Australia. So they run tours here in Sydney but also in Melbourne um, and basically the focus of it is to like have a really fun first week get you comfortable in the city get you sorted out with everything that you might need like phone sim cards um, a bank account and then kind of help you gear up to like live here so they'll help you look for jobs they'll help you organize like future travel plans and previously when I came last time they only ran a tour in Melbourne but since then they've started doing one in Sydney obviously I did not do that last time so it was a natural thing when I was chatting to Daryl who works at Welcome to Travel who co-owns Welcome to travel to do the Sydney tour because I've never done it so we are starting here we have met some of the tour group but not all of the tour group been here two nights now so we kind of feel a little bit rested but not like a hundred percent on the right time zone yet but as you can see currently in a hostel this is wake up Sydney I've stayed here before as well actually so it does feel nice that it's quite familiar behind me is Thomas I can't actually see you at all I'm stood right by the window here's Tom just getting his stuff out of his locker Tim getting his Tim Tams the essential the essential morning snack. No, no thank you, it's 8.30. I'm okay. <laughs> Tom's just here for the good food. As you can see, this is the hostel room. So this is the bunk bed Tom and I are sharing. And then there are actually four other people in here. So there's a girl and a boy on this bed and another girl and a boy on this bed. Um, two of them are from England. I think the girl over here is from Germany and the lad is from Canada. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Most everybody that we've met has been really friendly. Obviously there is a bit of a initial not awkward period but like getting to know people period where you spend a lot of your time introducing each other put that on top of like the jet lag and the exhaustion that comes with flying into australia the first day is always a little bit not weird but like overwhelming for me i find it quite overwhelming if i'm exhausted my social battery is low which is why i'm glad we've actually had a day to kind of just like recover explore the city a bit ourselves and now we're gonna head downstairs to the bar that is in wake up kind of underground which is really cool to meet the rest of the group and to kind of have a little introduction so this is is our week in Sydney. I'm so excited to be here with Welcome to Travel. Tom and I are so, so grateful. Here we go, here's Tom. Um, we're so, so grateful to be working with them, aren't, aren't we? Very grateful, yeah. They've helped us out already, like, so much since we've got here and um, Daryl's been a really good contact. So. Daryl has been amazing. Before we even got here, we organized our whole East Coast trip with, with Daryl at Welcome to Travel, so. We feel like we're pretty much sorted, we're pretty much ready to go. We're yeah. raring now, we wanna, we wanna just get going. So I'm gonna stop waffling on, but I am gonna say that if you guys are looking into doing a tour with Welcome to Travel, you can actually get $50 off with my code Molly50. I'm gonna link that at the top line in the description. It lets them know that you've you've come from watching my vlogs and it also gets you $50 off as well, which is amazing. And trust me, once you've watched this vlog, you're gonna wanna do it. So we're gonna head downstairs and meet everybody now. I've already met like 10 people. Well, eight. eight. Excluding us two. Yeah. So there's still like another six people to meet. Yeah. Um, but everyone was really nice. We went for, for a Thai last night, didn't we? We did. Our first proper um, like food here. Yeah, it was very nice. So I can only apologise about any background noise in this voiceover. I am recording it in a hostel, but we started the day with a walking tour of some of Sydney's most iconic views. I say this all the time, but this is one of the best ways to see a city and like get to know a new place. This was also the first time we met our tour guide, Alex. He told us so much information that we probably wouldn't have previously known about Sydney and its history and like how it came to be the city that it is today. This whole vlog is just you walking. I'm just panicking to Tom. Hi. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This whole area is really cool though. It's giving banking district drinks on a lunchtime. The fact that they all just drink in the middle of the working day, I kind of love it. I'm kind of confused by it. a full morning of walking around this city it was pretty much time for lunch thank goodness i was so jet lagged on this day all i could think about was food but we went to this mexican place it was really cool and then we continued a walking tour around some other parts of the city that we hadn't already been to including later in the day this incredible really quiet viewpoint over the sydney opera house and the harbour bridge <laughs> Good 
morning guys it is the second day of the tour now the kind of like first full day where we're not being admin although yesterday actually we did do a lot of walking we did a walking tour of the city which you all have that is true actually yeah that is true no and it was worth it because we are fully set up now guys we have a australian bank account and an australian phone number so we are officially here but today is the second day and i'll probably vlog a little bit more obvious reasons one yesterday we were sorting all of that stuff out but two it was kind of like the introductory day so i was kind of telling everybody like i'm a vlogger well i wasn't like going around telling everybody but like it's come up in conversation so people will be less like taken aback if i'm just talking to the camera now whereas i always kind of like to leave that a little bit until you've got to know people so that people don't just be like what the hell everybody is so lovely aren't they very nice. He's in his Patronus hoodie again. Mercedes. But yeah, everybody's lovely, aren't they? Yeah, everyone's really nice. It's a really good group. It is a really great group. Today we have a very exciting itinerary again. So I'm going to pop on a little bit of makeup and I'm going to bring you with us because I'm very, very excited. I'm going to learn a little bit of history, a little bit of Australian culture, a little bit of like Australian heritage and First Nations history, as well as also a cocktail class. I think we're also going to the Opera House. So it's going to be a good day. It's going to be exciting and I'm excited to show you what we get up to. The most documented we have is Wiradjuri and Kamilaroi languages and they're they are two of my tribes, but yeah, if I was to want to learn my language fluently. So this tour company were called Barangaroo, who is actually one of the first female leaders of the indigenous people. Um, our, our tour guide for this was called Sam and she knew so much about this history and basically the land that we were walking around is actually called Barangaroo in Sydney. Honestly, this was a really, really interesting part of the day because again, we just wouldn't have known any of this if it wasn't for her. So I really recommend doing something like this if you're ever in Sydney. So we are in this little lunch place and I've just got a veggie burger. I don't know what it's going to be like. Yesterday we came here and I got Mexican food and that was really good but it was really messy to eat. So today I was like right I'm going to get a burger. I'm not sure that's any easier to eat but I have actually lost everybody that I'm here with so I need to find where they're sat. But yeah I'm excited because I'm starving. Guys it is so windy. I haven't spoken to the camera very much but also it's actually hard to speak to the camera because of how windy it is but We've just finished up lunch, Tom is here. Uh, we're actually back at the hostel, but we've just separated off from the group because we're gonna head to Woolworths, basically just to run a few errands. We do keep on getting lost, but it's okay. We're getting the hang of it. Might need to have a little power nap because our next activity this afternoon is cocktail making, which I'm so excited about, but I am very tired. So guys, we're uh, we'll making like cocktails. I can like one cocktail from my own. Like, 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 Go on, give it some. Give it some. Open uh, it again. You're going to hold it in one hand. You want your thumb to be where it joins, and you want to hit with your palm of the hand the edge where it starts to crease because you want to flex the metal. <laughs> 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 I made the same mistake, mate. Hopefully, it should be a little bit foamy by now. Feels foamy. Once you've done that, just dump the ice in the sink, not in the ice well. This is your last chance to get close. You've actually smashed it. Oh, I've got too much. Let's see. You're done. Look at that. Pro, mate. Hands up. 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 Hands up.
the vlog. Is this is the vlog. Yeah. Oh, it's like Only if you Coming on a great trip! Just before we get going, do you guys want to hear again what we're doing today? Yeah. Okay. yeah. So the first stop is roughly an hour away. We're going to National Falls, which is in the Royal National Park, the oldest national park in Australia. Um, after that, we're going to head, it's about a 20 minute drive from there, to a place called Bald Hill Lookout, which is absolutely stunning. You've got an amazing view of Seacliff Bridge. So after that's going to be like the longest drive that we have. It's going to be about two and a half hours, and that's all the way to Jarvis Bay. I literally look like I've just rolled out of bed. So as you may have gathered from Alex's little speech, our road trip included a few stops. The first one to the Royal National Park, and then the second one was to a really gorgeous lookout. Also, I'm so sorry about the bird noise in the background. Um, guys, this was so stunning, but I just want to emphasize how windy this was. Like, that is pretty insane. Anyway, we headed from there to Jarvis Bay, where we were actually doing a dolphin cruise. But first, we did stop for some lunch. Did we see any dolphins? <laughs> did we? We didn't, <laughs> we didn't see anything. We didn't see any dolphins. But it's okay because we did see the sea and it looked beautiful. Do you know what I am seeing? What are you seeing? A very cute dog. Oh, I am seeing a very cute dog. Oh. But guys, it's so windy that there was no animals anywhere. Animals? Dolphins. Yeah. Any other animals available at all, but they weren't there either. It was just... We did see these, I don't know what they were, you might know. Those, those birds that were like hovering above the water. Yeah, there were some birds oh, and there were some they were fish. Nice. They were pretty. Yeah, but, but I, didn't, I didn't see any dolphins. Is this our bus? It is. Okay. I totally forgot that I look like a flower pot man, but I look like a flower pot man. We are on a beach called, I'm gonna take that off, that's too much. Greenfield Beach? Greenfields. Greenfields, and it is one of the whitest sand beaches here in Australia. It is just incredible. It's beautiful. I mean, you can kind of see for yourself. I'll go film it properly, but this is the entrance to it. We've just come to sit here because it's quiet, and also the wind is slightly less intense. Yeah, so super that's windy. That's the only thing that you can criticize of it, really. If, if it wasn't windy, it would be like perfect. a 10 out of 10. Genuinely we are kind of being whipped by the sand, but it's great exfoliation for the skin. Well, as I said, we did go on a dolphin cruise as well earlier, but we didn't see any dolphins because of the wind. However, we did just see dolphins just swimming in the sea, so that was cool. This is the road trip leg of our Welcome to Travel tour, and this is probably the highlight and the bit that I was like the most excited for, and it is not disappointing. Like your sunglasses. Thank you. I tried to steal them. Do you remember? I was like, I thought that I thought that they really suited me, but Tom was like, no, they're mine. Actually, it sort of is giving um, Dr. Octavius from Spider-Man. No, no, no. They're, they're looking, they're they're looking like, like dog eyes. No, they're like round goggles. These have got a bit more of a squareness or a squircle. I put a squircle, I love that. I've put my um, t-shirt back on because I am actually burning a little bit. Now we're in Australia. Why were you singing after? I don't know. Is that what that's from? Yeah. I keep getting that in my head. Dim, ba -dum -bum. I'm thriving, guys. I'm loving life. We chilled on this beach for a couple of hours. It was my first attempt at getting a bit of an Aussie tan, I'm not gonna lie. And then we made our journey over to surf camp, which is where we were spending the night. Guys, the food was so good. And then after that, we chilled on the beach and the stars were so good. It was such a vibe. The camera didn't really pick it up, but trust me. Hello guys, we are at surf camp now. And oh, with possum, Tom. it's gonna get killed. Oh, that was so close. <laughs> Not one for the vlog. It Wait. survived, by the Wait, way. Wait, where is it? Just where to is it? inform you. Where is it? It stopped oh, just before the road. It's now on the road. Anyway. Is alive. Thank yeah, no, it, it didn't. It didn't. I saw it. Oh, guys, are we sure that's not just a rat? No, pot, they're okay. bigger. They're a lot bigger. Yeah. 
Mm, anyway, that would have been really traumatizing. That would have been really die. sad, especially just as I turned the vlogging camera on. But we are at surf camp. I didn't vlog us getting here because today's been a lot of like getting on the bus, getting off the bus, doing various different things. But we have arrived. We've had dinner. I'm with Freya, who has not been in the vlog, but I was about to introduce her, and then we just nearly saw a possum <laughs> murder, which was intense. We're here. We just saw the stars. I wish I could have filmed it, but the camera was not picking it up. So imagine the Milky Way in your head. That's what we just saw. And it was amazing. Um, but we're heading back now. Oh yeah, I did actually take some photos on my phone. My phone takes surprisingly quite good like long exposure photos. So this is what it looks like. But yeah, we're gonna head back to we're gonna head back now, we're gonna go to bed and we have to be up at seven in the morning um, to do surfing, which is gonna be so much fun. lesson ever so my behind me is top uh, we're gathering all of our stuff up because we are actually heading back to Sydney now it was so so much fun but so windy that it was really hard to like stay on the boards and to like get on the boards at all there he is yeah we just about managed it first time surfing in a while in this intense wind wasn't the best but so much fun and also the staff here are so lovely like they make you feel so welcome they're so good at their job and like they're really good at like giving you little tips you can hear how windy it is um, but yeah it was good fun I've just had a bite. If you ever come to Australia, have a Golden Gate time. <laughs> that is the tagline for the vlog. After we left surf camp, we had a little surprise stop on the road trip back to a wine estate where we did wine tasting for an hour or so, which is very Australian. I absolutely love this, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's just your silhouette. <laughs> there we go. Oh, the super one. Like, there you go. <laughs> Oh, it's awful. No, it's not. Oh, it's just, is that right? It's very earthy. Yeah. It's very earthy. Yeah. Is that what you mean? Yeah. So I can't believe I'm starting doing wine tasting, looking like this. Just got out of the ocean vibes. What do you expect me to say? Like, oh, it's so... Uh, I prefer to do the I prefer to do the No, I don't like it. This is not... The other one, one was better, yeah. but I didn't even really like the other one. I like rosé. I think I prefer cheap white wine. I don't actually think... back in Sydney. Tom and I have just come for dinner. We're still kind of playing catch up on some admin. So we've just popped into Optus, which is the phone network provider here. So it's like basically the equivalent to EE. We just went to sort that out because we wanted to swap to an eSIM. Now we are trying to finalize our banking. Obviously we've just set up Australian bank accounts. So we're like transferring a load of data over and like trying to get the app to work. Stuff that's a bit out of my depth. I can't lie, Tom is sort of in charge of this section of traveling because I'm just not the greatest. Oh, I've got sand in my camera lens and the lens is sticking good. Day three, good. But we're in a place called Grilled Burger. Um, I think it's a chain, but I've never been here before. And they've got so many great vegan and veggie options that I was like, yes, please. Also, I've just freshly washed my hair from surfing and it's gone so curly underneath, like. How was your experience at surf camp? It was good in the end. You definitely improved. I think all of us kind of like spent the first half an hour learning how to battle against the wind with the surfboard, but it was so, so much fun. This is the kind of vibe of the restaurant we're in. It's so cute. You're glowing, you've got a halo. Oh yeah. That's a cool sign, actually. I like it, yeah. It's nice. Good morning, guys. It is now Tuesday, I was gonna say Thursday. Today we are kind of focusing on like our next steps here in Australia. So welcome to travel obviously, gear you up for like onward travel, but also finding work and accommodation here in Australia. So we're about to have a little presentation from our tour guide, Alex, about the options that we have like going forward from here. So about to head there now. I'm actually running late because I'm waiting for a smoothie to be made. Tom's actually inside collecting it for me. Um, but we've checked back into Wake Up Hostel where we're kind of based the entire time we're in Sydney. Stayed here last night and now we are continuing on with the tour. The 
we have arrived at our activity of today, which is exploring Bondi Beach. Bondi is obviously incredibly famous as one of Sydney's suburbs, probably its most famous beach, for good reason, just look at this. It's literally stunning, it's the whitest sand, it has such good waves for surfing, there's quite a lot of surfers out over there. Very cool, very, very cool. Nice, isn't it? exploring Bondi Beach. Behind us is the famous Bondi's Iceberg Swimming Pool. So filled up by the ocean. So it is salt water that you're swimming in. And it is kind of like a public swimming bath, which I think is really, really cool. It's also what Bondi is probably not most famous for, but if you do Google Bondi, this is an image that will come up. Along with all of these surfers, because oh my God, guys, the surf is insane here today. The wind's dropped a lot. And oh my God, does it look amazing conditions. Are you enjoying your Bondi experience? It's incredible. I mean, the waves here are insane. insane. I've genuinely never seen surf as good as this. This is our first time arriving at Darling Harbour. We haven't been here yet. I remember really liking it last time and we've come at the perfect time because sunset is just insane. Here's Thomas. One of the most stunning places we've been. I really do think the time of day is massively helping though because like when it's this kind of light, this like purpley light, just makes me fall in love with wherever I am. Um, and more excitingly than that, we're actually going to meet our friend Sean, who some of you might remember we met in Asia whilst we're backpacking. He is now here on a working holiday visa as well with his brother um, and his brother's girlfriend. So like they've moved to Australia as well. So we knew we were gonna cross paths at some point, but we didn't realize it was gonna be this Dude, we're not it was actually like a very last minute thing, wasn't it? It was just literally like two hours ago. I was just messaging him, and he was like, oh, I'm on the next beach along from you. He so was on like, while we were oh. on Bondi, and I was like, Okay, the opportunity is too good because we're not staying in Sydney for too much longer. Um, and I think they're staying here for a bit. So, look at this. I'm sorry, what the hell is going on? Madness. It is Friday morning. No, it isn't. It's Thursday morning. As you can tell, I've lost track of all the days. It's our last day here in Sydney. It is also the final day of the Welcome to Travel Tour. Tom is having a nap behind me. We've actually just checked into another hostel room just for this evening because um, the tour kind of ended, like technically last night was the last night. So this is a separate booking. But yeah, so today is kind of the last day. We're ending with a group barbecue. We actually went out last night, but I didn't really film that. I was just having a really good time with everybody here. Filmed a few clips of us playing beer pong though. So this was us in the hostel. <laughs> Overall, I just kind of like went out for drinks and didn't film it. I am sorry about that, but I'm also aware that this vlog is so super, super long. Um, so I'm gonna insert some clips of the group barbecue here. Yeah. It's pretty full on. I can't believe how much we've actually packed into the space of a week. But other than that, guys, I'm actually going to end this here. I want to say the biggest, biggest thank you to Welcome to Travel. I hope that this gave you an insight into what their tours are like, into how in-depth they go into helping you set up your working holiday visa here in Australia. And I also want to remind you that you can get $50 off your booking with Welcome to Travel, either here in Sydney or down in Melbourne with the code MOLLY50. I'm actually going to be travelling up the East Coast with Tom, obviously, um, on an itinerary that they planned for us. So, like, everything that we do from this point out is also organized by Welcome to Travel. They are so helpful. They go through and make a plan of like exactly what you want from your time in Australia, which is so, so good. Their website will be the top link in the description. This trip was gifted, as I will have like disclosed at the beginning. But yeah, I, I just honestly have had the best week. Tom and I have both been so lucky with the group that we've had. Here he is, he is actually awake. But yeah, we've been so lucky with the group of people that we've met this week, haven't we? Such a nice group. Everyone gets along like so well. Shout out to Alex as well. If you have him, if you do this tour and you have him, like he's spot on. He's the tour guide that we've had this week. 
week and he has been amazing like genuinely hand on heart and i said this to him last night one of the best tour guides we've ever had yeah. on any of our tours across asia or even the last time i was here in australia like it was fun he was he was so so good yeah it's just been so much fun and we are so grateful i hope you've enjoyed this vlog i know it is a mammoth one so if you've made it to the end thank you for watching <laughs> subscribe so that you can see what we get up to from here where are we heading to next up to cairns we're doing it in a bit of a weird order, but I will explain that in the next vlog. In the reverse, aren't we? Kind of. It all of. makes sense. It does, it all makes sense, and you'll kind of see... Why we've done it this way. Yeah, uh, in the vlogs that are coming. But right now we need to go and collect our laundry, and I'm going to end this vlog here. So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new, and I shall see you in the next, the next Australia vlog. Bye, guys. Bye.